Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashton. This is a vinyasa yoga flow. I hope you enjoy. We'll begin with a little warm up. So inhale your hands above your head. Grasp onto your right wrist as you open up the right side. Feel that nice side stretch back to the center. Now grasping onto your left wrist as you open up the left side. And folding forward from the hips. Let your hands drop wherever they end up. Now create some space about three feet between your feet. We're gonna open up to the left side, one hand raised up, and to the other side, the other hand raised up. Placing both hands on the mat, grass opposite elbows, bend your knees generously, maybe swing side to side, and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale your hands above your head. Again, reach the left side, then the right side, open up, gaze to the ceiling, and we're gonna sweep the floor with a big circle with both hands and come up as we inhale. Then we exhale, we sweep our hands down. Inhale, come up, exhale, come on down. Let's change directions. Inhale as your hands come up, exhale as your hands sweep the floor and continue that motion. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale the hands above the head. Exhale as you fold forward from the hips. Plant your hands down, look, look up for a flat back. Step your feet back, lowering down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog, drawing the heels to the ground. As you inhale, lift the right leg above the body into the sky, bringing knee to the chest, then back up to the ceiling, bring the knee to the right side, back up to the ceiling again, and knee to the left side. Back up, sweep it forward, plant it on the ground, come into your low lunge, bring your hands above your head. Stay here for a few breaths. Plant your hands down, straighten that front leg as you push your hips back. Use the momentum to come up to a high lunge. Breathe. Enjoy this posture. Plant your hands down. Step your right foot back, lowering down Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale for downward facing dog. Lifting your left leg high in the sky and bringing your knee to your chest, bringing your left leg high in the sky again and bringing it to the right side, bringing it high into the sky and then bringing it to the left side, bringing it high into the sky and then the last time step it through, drop your back knee, coming up for a low lunge. Inhale, exhale. Plant your hands down, straighten your front leg And tuck that back toe, come up into a high lunge. Windmill your hands down, step your left foot back, lowering down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, drawing the hips high into the sky. Bring your left leg high into the sky, step, step it through, coming into warrior one. Drawing that left hip forward. Gaze up to your hands. Turning that back foot out so it's parallel with the short edge of the mat to warrior two. Gaze to your front hand. Flip the front hand, going in for your reverse warrior. Windmilling the hands down, step your right foot back, lowering down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, drawing the heels to the ground. Lift your left leg high in the sky. As you plant it in between your hands, come up into your warrior one. Drawing your right hip forward. Keep 
gaze up to your hands. Inhale, exhale. Turning that back foot to be parallel to the short edge of the mat to warrior two. Gaze to your front hand. Reverse that front hand, placing that left hand on the back of your leg, reverse warrior. side. Windmilling your hands down, step your left foot back, lowering down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, leading with the hips, drawing the heels to the ground. Right leg comes high in the sky. As you plant it on the mat, coming into your pigeon pose, to find a comfortable seated, comfortable position here. Exhale as you fold forward, inhale as you come up. Create this motion back and forth. Inhale and exhale. And coming all the way down as you plant your forehead on the mat or use a block to create that connectivity to the mat. Slowly coming out of pigeon planting your hands down, bending your back leg and hooking it into your elbow crease while you reach for your back. Open up the chest. Release that foot, plant your hands down. Step your right foot back, lowering down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, drawing the heels to the mat. Extend your left leg into the sky. And plant it on the mat behind your hands. Find a comfortable pigeon and sink into the posture. Inhale as you extend, exhale as you fold forward. Inhale as you extend, exhale as you fold forward and go through this motion. And then come all the way down. Create connectivity with your mat. Maybe use a block so your forehead is touching the mat. Inhale and exhale. Slowly come out of the posture as you bend your back foot placing your toes in the crease of your elbows and connecting your hands for swan. Gaze forward, open up the chest, inhale and exhale. Release that foot, step your foot back, lowering down Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze to your hands, hop or step your feet to the outsides of your hands and come into your yoga squat. Drawing your hips to the mat. Placing the left hand on the ground as you open up to the side and then placing your right hand on the ground and open up to the other side. From your hands to heart center. And place your hands firmly on the mat as you come into your crow pose and hop or step your feet to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for upward facing dog, exhale for downward facing dog. Hop or step your feet to meet your hands, flat back and fold forward. And on the inhale, come all the way up to standing. Your hands, heart center. Grasp for your right big toe as you extend the foot in front of you. Gaze into a fixed point to help with your balance. Then open up to the side as you bring your gaze all the way over to the left side. Hold, inhale and exhale. Bring your foot back to center. Grasp your waist and balance there. Your toes pointed. Lower your foot down. Shake it out. On to the other side. So reach for your left big toe. Extend the foot out in front of you. Gaze to a fixed point to help your balance. On your next exhale, open out to the side 
and gaze to over the right shoulder. Inhale and exhale here. On your next exhale, bring your foot back in front of you, placing your left hand to your waist, pointing your toes, and balancing here for a few breaths. Slowly lower your foot down, and again, shake it out. Bring your hands above your head, fold forward from the hips. Reach to your right side, to the center, and reach to the left side. Plant your hands down, step your feet back, lowering down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, drawing the heels to the ground. Gaze to your hands. Upper step to a seated position. And come lay on your back. Prepare yourself for your wheel posture. Bend your knees, place the feet near the buttocks. Place the hands on the floor above the shoulders. Push through the hands and feet and come onto the crown of your head and then Push all the way straight into the arms. Keep the soles of the feet flat on the floor. Remain here for five breaths. Inhale and exhale. And slowly lower down on the crown of the head and come onto your back. Going for a restorative posture, a passive forward fold on the ground. So don't worry about a flat back here. You can even round the spine. Just relax this passive fold. Hold this for roughly eight breaths. Slowly come out. Place your hands beside your body. Step back, lowering down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Coming onto your knees, getting ready for your inversion. Interlace your hands together, place them on the mat, placing your head, top of your head on the mat, lifting your buttocks up into the sky and walking your feet close to your face as you lift your feet above your head into your headstand. Hold this for five to eight breaths. Inhale and exhale. Don't place any pressure on the top of your head, but more so on your forearms. Exhale, lower your legs down to 90 degrees, point your toes, and again, hold this posture for five to eight breaths. all the way up and then slowly lower them down to the ground. Again, do not take your head right away. Come into a restorative posture. Come to child's pose, hands beside the body. Sink your hips to the mat, forehead on the mat. Connect to the ground. Stay here for five to eight breaths. They only come out when you feel ready. Place your hands down, lowering down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, drawing the hips up into the sky, your heels to the mat. Hop or step your feet to come into a seated position. We're gonna go through some restorative postures. Reaching for your knees, hug your knees into your belly, walk back and forth if it feels good. Placing your feet on the mat, Drop both knees to either side and back and forth. And hug your knees close to your chest. Grasp with the outsides of your feet. Come into your happy baby, baby. As you rock back and forth, side to side, maybe create small circles, whatever feels good. Letting the legs straight out, arms straight out for your last final posture, Shavasana. 